Alright, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 4G or 3G um, or your iPhone 4G um, using a software called Green Poison and this is running on firmware 4.2.1 I know that 4.3 or 4.3.1 is already out, but uh, as of right now, there is no untethered jailbreak for it. So as you can see, I'm on 4.2.1, and uh, so yes. So uh, if you want to jailbreak or if you want to downgrade from 4.3.1, if you're already running it, to 4.2.1, I know it's possible. Uh, I'm not very familiar with the the uh, the Apple iOS or uh, really anything about I Apple so I can't tell you how to do that I don't know how but uh, go ahead and research if you're already on 4.3.1 or if you just want to wait for the untethered jailbreak to come out uh, I will probably be posting a video on how to uh, jailbreak the iPod 4.3.1 um, with the untethered jailbreak if you're interested in that uh, but for now I just I just jailbreak broke this a couple hours ago so I haven't really had a chance to play with it so alright to get started what you're gonna need to do is plug your phone into your computer um, just plug it in and um, yeah and then turn off your uh, your iPod I am already jailbroken I don't know if you can see Cydia down there but this is just showing you how I did it so all right. Now, once you have your your uh, iPod plugged into your computer, you're going to want to download the Green Poison software. Um, it's going to look like this. It's a like Green Poison, and you're going to click on it and uh, just say no. You're not jailbreaking Apple TV. Uh, it's going to say please power off your device and connect it to begin. We've already powered off, and then it's going to say prepare to jailbreak. And when you do this, it's going to give you instructions. So get ready to start. Three seconds. Uh, hold power the top button for two seconds, continue holding it, pressing the hold button as well for 10 seconds, and then release the, the sleep button and hold it down for 15 seconds. And uh, yeah, you're, uh, once you get into DFU mode, your phone or your iPod will beep, and I'll show you how to do it in just a second. I just wanted to give you these instructions. Uh, it, it tells you what to do, it's really easy to do. So, all right, I'm going to show you how to do it now. So we're going to go ahead and jailbreak the iPod following the instructions uh, I just previously gave you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the green poison. Uh, and prepare to jailbreak. Alright, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to hold the power button down for two seconds. So, sleep button on top of the screen is going to come on just like that. Hold down the home button now for ten seconds. and then release the power button on top and just continue holding down the home button and alright now once you've done that you're in DFU mode and uh, as you can see it'll, once it says that uh, your, it'll go off it'll say uh, jailbreak down here and you're going to go ahead and click on it now your iPod is going to stay black for the time being the screen is going to stay black and uh, it's just going to go through this and uh, say jailbreak. Go over your phone, it'll have a white screen. Um, the green bar on the green poison will keep going. Keep going, as you can see. I'll just keep doing that. And uh, a little bit of text comes up on your iPod, and it just means that it's, it's doing the jailbreak right now. Okay, so uh, you come back to your screen, and it'll say uh, jailbreak complete. Um, and your iPod will load a whole bunch of text, uh, coding, and stuff like that. And it's just basically it's just it's just jailbroken your iPod. Your iPod's jailbroken now. So um, it'll say, "Please power off your device." Connect to the end. Uh, once the full bar is done, go ahead and click quit. And we're done with the jailbreak. Now just let it go. And it'll reboot in a minute. Give it a second. Alright. As you can see, I don't know if you can actually see that. It has the green poison logo instead of the apple. It's not very focused. Alright, 
All right, now we're just booting up again. It does this all automatically. I'm not touching it really. I'm just holding it up. <clears throat> Just loading and we're connected. All right, so you are now jailbroken. You can check this uh, by scrolling across here. And now, I since I'm already jailbroken, it's not going to show it, but it should say around here. All right, on that. You should have an app that says loader. Um, what that does, you're gonna click on it, and basically it's gonna install Cydia. Uh, you load it. Um, once it's done loading, you'll come out of here. You have the Cydia icon. You click on it, and then it's going to install Cydia. So uh, it's really an easy process to install Cydia. Um, so as you can see, it's a really easy process if you are somebody who's rooted your phone, your Android phone. This is like 15 times easier. Uh, as you can see, it took me like two minutes to do all the way and I was even struggling with my camera and everything. So um, it's really easy to do. Uh, like and favorite this video. Subscribe. Um, it really helped me out a lot and thanks for watching guys. And uh, I might be posting up the uh, tethered jailbreak for firmware 4.3.1. Um, so look out for that and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.